2023, a boom or a bust for Staten Island's real estate market? Let's dive right in as we cut through the suspense and take a close look into the heart of Staten Island's real estate market. In this video, we are remembering each of the twists and turns and a score of the trends for the real estate market locally on Staten Island, New York. And at the year of 2023, to answer the burning question, was investing in real estate or buying a house in 2023 was a hit or was it a miss? Do you remember how the Staten Island real estate market started off a bit shaky in January? Let's review just in case you forgot. Listings were down 17% and the pending sales were dropping significantly. But you know what was interesting? Is how the median sale price fell just a little bit to 625000 And the homes stayed on the market longer than usually. And they were averaging 82 days on the market. This was definitely nothing short from a shocker. It seemed like buyers were gaining some leverage during this month. And we thought that we are taking a solid turn, paving the way for a buyer's market. Remember that? There was certainly many predictions going around all over the media. And February was quite a month to remember, right? When the Federal Reserve started to raise interest rates, we started to see a little dip in new listings on Staten Island. They were down to only 357 units and the pending sales were decreasing too. However, the prices remained pretty much stable during that time in February. Just a slight increase, the price was bumped to $650,000. It almost seemed like the buyers and the sellers decided that they were both going to be just waiting to see what is going to happen next. It was quite a time. And then March came around and we were looking at the sales nationally. It showed that March brought some more surprising activity. But here in Staten Island, the new listings and the pending sales continue to trend downward. And in large, the median sale price was around 648,800. I believe it was mainly because we had a limited number of inventory and because of that, it was pushing the days on the market higher. And at this time, we were up to 103 days on the market. It took this long to secure a buyer for a house. In April, we started to see the beginning of a new picture unfolding when sales dropped again and Staten Island started to see a further decrease in the number of new homes that were coming in as listings on the real estate market. The median sale price in April started to dip and it was showing up as $622,999. And the houses were taking even longer to sell during the month of April. It was clear that the fluctuating mortgage rates are making buyers very hesitant and wondering whether they should stop and take a pause and see if it's even a good idea to buy or just wait and see what happens. But we're gonna find out if it was a good idea or not. This is the big question we are revealing today. Now May came and we started to notice that existing home sales are sliding again nationally. And we were surprised to find out that on Staten Island, the median sale price actually increased again and we found our numbers at $650,000. But the catch is that there was a drop in the new listings and the pending sales as well. The real estate market on Staten Island was still tight with homes selling quickly due to the lack and shortage of inventory on Staten Island. If you noticed, in prior videos, I spoke about supply and demand and its significance when predicting the potential path that a local real estate market is taking. Okay, so let's review what happened in June of 2023. June showed that the national real estate market was cooler than usual. 
on Staten Island, the new listings and the pending sales were down as well. But there was a slight increase in the month's supply of inventory and it was kind of like a mixed bag of confusing scenarios because the median sale price increased to $660,000. This really was getting out of hand. It was starting to be very confusing. It was challenging to make sense. The distinction between the national numbers and the data in comparison to Staten Island real estate market was completely swinging in different directions. And then July came with the higher mortgage rates. It seemed like a lot less people were listing their homes and a lot of buyers already started to part ways with the idea that they will be buying a house anytime soon or even ever. Sales here on Staten Island started to fall, but then the median sale price in Staten Island climbed a little bit by like $8,000 showing $668,000 as the median home sale price. Nothing was making sense to most folks. And then the month of August was really tough for everyone. Those high mortgage rates really affected the entire real estate market and we started to see a little bit of an increase in the listings and even the pending sales that were happening here locally on Staten Island. But the inventory levels kept falling and because of that, the median sale price increased again from $668,000 to $680,000 and it was showing that the market was still competitive. So in September, nationally, they were showing that sales were hitting a seven month low, but not here on Staten Island. The real estate market seemed a bit more stable. Right here, the median sale price was up again by $6,500, making it at 686,500 median sale price. And this was despite the overall challenging conditions that we've been seeing happening all over the country. In relation to less inventory and high interest rates, it shocked everyone. I'm telling you, Staten Island is something else. The downturn in the US markets were showing cracks, while on Staten Island, we saw a teeny weeny, but still an increase in new listings and pending sales. And we kept pretty steady on the sale prices. And it sounded like the real estate market was trying to find its spot. Really kind of just came under the previous median sale price. And we found ourselves at $665,000. So here we are in November and sales nationally really slowed down. Wow. And then Staten Island real estate market followed the trend, but pay attention closely. We followed the trend with a decrease in the number of listings and the number of the pending sales. But listen to this, the median sale price actually reached to 700,000 in November, which was a huge jump from the month before. Overall, Staten Island's real estate market in 2023 was a roller coaster. Now, I personally don't like roller coaster. Don't take me to Coney Island or anything like that. It makes me dizzy. It was mirroring the national trends to some extent, but it was really different. We have seen a general decrease in the number of listings coming onto the market. And because of that, it's reflecting the decrease in the number of pending sales. And of course, the crazy increases of the mortgage rates during 2023 alone. So month by month, it was kind of fluctuating, but generally it was increasing. The median sale price throughout the year was more up than down. The real estate market on Staten Island was also affected and faced challenges of low inventory, high demand by buyers, higher mortgage rates, which plays a huge role and impacted buyers and sellers behavior alike. But despite the slowdown in sales, the prices here on Staten Island for homes remain steady and home values increased in general. Real estate is so incredibly hyper local and the Staten Island real estate market last year was proof of that with each turn and twist of this unique borough. So the answer to the question was Staten Island real estate market a boom or a bust? 
all in all property values on Staten Island had increased by 12% total. That's like a three years were squeezed into just one remarkable real estate market. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us here a like if you found this insight valuable and as fascinating as I did, except that roller coaster, right? Your support helps us bring more of these types of videos, important local real estate trends, neighborhood, buying and selling a house. And of course, I'm very big on helping homeowners avoid foreclosure and keep their homes. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. I want to wish you a happy new year to you and your family. May this year be full of happiness, peace, joy, abundance, and homeownership. Thank <sniffs> you.